Hey everyone, how's it going today? Lamora here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Marvel's Spider-Man. We just took down Wilson Fisk in the last episode, in the first episode. Parker, where are you? And now it looks like we need, to we need to run an equipment check. go to work I'm almost there. to our boss Locked who was away. calling. Uh, guess I'll just do it myself. No, no, no. no. Don't. We're, we're almost there. Uh. We're almost there, boss. Don't you worry. All right, so now you can start to see how the traversal plays in. If we didn't have that point launch, we wouldn't be able to... Get there before he hurts himself. Uh, I didn't have anything to web onto, unfortunately. I was too much in the open. But you can kind of see how you can use that to uh, maintain some of your your speed and your altitude here. And then we also have the web zip, and I believe we get the second one, and we won't lose any of our momentum there, which is nice. Uh, hold L3 to dive. Okay, we'll test that out in just a second here. As we get some more altitude here, let's grab this. All right, this dive, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's a green speed. Cool. All these different tricks that we learned. Oh, come on. We didn't do it there. Too low. Oof. And unfortunately, we're here, and that means that our time swinging through the city has come to a close. We'll never do it again. Spider-Man's going to die. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's all jokes, no spoilers here. I'm sorry I'm late. <sighs> you started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Dr. Davis, are you okay? Another setback. <clears throat> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all uh, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. What row? That was a disaster. That it was, Peter. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. You just can't let it go, can you? It's all right. That's why you're such a good guy. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Oh, no. Help me, Peter. I'm hurting. I can feel everything. Okay. <laughs> see what's wrong. Let's with not you. be too stupid here. Uh, can I interact with this, please? Thank you. Man, this music reminds me of Mass Effect, like even with these graphics. Anyone else getting that, like Mass Effect 2 vibes uh, when they're like putting Shepard back together? Man, <laughs> now I want to go play Mass Effect. I really hope this Mass Effect um, trilogy remakes or remaster rumors are true. Circuit burned out. That would be amazing. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. The power control for the arm is damaged. Press X to continue. Create a connection between the green, uh, the green start piece and the orange end piece. Ugh. I don't, I don't like these. <laughs> oh well, we got to do them. So uh, for these ones, you can see where my cursor is. These are all the free spaces. We need to continue going from this area, feeding the current through all the way up and around, all the way into this area. So you have to put the right pieces in uh, in order to do that. So we'll do uh, another one of these. Rotate it. Get a straight piece, get another one of these, turn it down, get a straight piece, put it here, get a turny bit, an elbow if you will, and we'll do it just Got like it. that. Easy peasies, 
Lemon McSqueezy. Component repaired, X to continue. It will not always be okay, that easy. Need to reroute servo control. Some circuits only allow connections from specific directions. All right, so very similar to this one, we have to just find the correct path. Uh, so unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have enough of our pieces to enter it like this straight down into the right. So that means that we have to go around this way, come down here and loop it like so. Oh, let's see if we can find our pieces. I always like to use the one way um, circuits before it gets too far into the the mess here. I don't know what to call all this stuff, but uh, that's just kind of me. So like here, I can't use it because on the left side, it is pointing to the left and that won't, would be useless. So we need to find a different piece, which we do happen to have right here so to put it in. So it's not all just willy nilly. Uh, you have to kind of be a little bit smart about it, which is not my forte. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have any more of these uh, one way pass throughs, but we do have regular pieces that we can always use. Um, I put this down here. Will it work? Yes, it will. Then I'll use a noodly bit and we'll finish that off with a straight bit. Nice. Okay, what next? All right, one more should finish it off. This one will now introduce the new mechanic. In order to set the power voltage control, you must also meet its charge requirement. Some circuit pieces provide positive or negative charges. So if you actually look up in the top where it says actual voltage in orange, it has a zero. And then on the right, it says three target voltage. That means you need to total out into a total of three at the end when you reach this orange circuit down here. Uh, in order to do that, you see we have three different little nodes here. One's green, one's red, another is green. That means that we need to choose the right circuits. Well, we know at least there's only one red piece, so we'll put that there. But now we have to choose. So we want to get to three. And in order to do that, we have two plus ones. And if I was, or I'm sorry, we have a plus one and two plus twos. The thing is, if I do a plus one and a plus two here, so like if we put plus two and plus one, because we have the negative in between, that only leaves us with an actual voltage of two. So that means we need to remove that plus one and put another plus two there, because it would total four minus one, that's three. Simple math, right? Uh, nice thing is once you get to the free circuits, you have more that you can play around with there. So easy peasy, like I said, nothing too dangerous or difficult Finished. here. Uh, it's just kind of more of an annoyance in my mind. Setup complete. Uploading schematic to arm. Upload complete. Let's see if that worked. All right, little guy, how you feeling now? I feel Good great, well. Peter. Look at all my movements and articulation. I feel like a real boy. Perfect. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. All right, so we could do some more of these. It looks like I can sprint in here as well. Now, the other thing that I remember is there's stuff that you can interact with around here in order to kind of get more context into... Uh, our boss and uh, Peter and everything. So I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. I'll I'll take the time to do that. Maybe I won't do it all the time, but it really our just it's fun subject, to see how much Lance care Corporal and Texador. love they put into this game. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Now I'm not sure if this is like a, a nod, I guess you could call it, or like an Easter egg. Um, to someone in the comics, like a one-off shoot villain or a reoccurring villain. But there are some things that you'll hear in this game, or you'll see even, that you'll be like, oh, okay, I see what they're foreshadowing here. But you do have to remember that um, Peter has actually been Spider-Man for a few years now. So he has villains, uh, super villains. He has ones that he's put away. Graduation. Uh, a lot of history so that we, we haven't seen. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. Well, he seems like a stand-up guy. Surprising that they went with um, Doc Ock, or Dr. Otto, for his mentor instead of the one of the other guys. Uh, and I couldn't tell you their names because Doc's made huge I'm, I'm really bad career. with that. He's always but been upstaged. whoever turns Usually into a lizard or lizard this man, this time it's going to be different. He uh, he was also one of. Peter's mentors in the comics and I think in some of the shows as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Um, so the lizard was... That's how you know we're progressing. 
Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. Don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Dang, he really knows his way with words. Um, so yeah, I think one of Peter's mentors was the lizard, before he was the lizard. And uh, I would like to see that iteration come through, but I guess how they're doing it here the coffee at work. is actually God really nice as well. Money. So we're just kind of exploring this. I don't think any of this is tied to achievements or anything like that. It's just kind of, like I said, extra information that you can gather. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Nice. Bang. Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already 10 after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Hmm. Sorry we let you down, but we had to take down Wilson Fisk. Octavius Industries scaling. Man, they really planned for all this, huh? All right, one more thing to, to kind of look at or listen to. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? You can't doubt yourself, Doc. We are doing good. All right, so let's look at this uh, this telescope thing here, or microscope. Let's see what they have for us. Unknown substance Doc found. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Your goal is to identify the unknown substances by its absorption spectrum. Use fragments of unknown substances and try to match up the absorption lines in the spectrum. Use L to move your cursor and X to pick up the fragments. Okay. So you can kind of see we have three empty spaces down here and three open spaces here. You need to match these lines by putting these boxes down over here uh, with the corresponding one above it. So if we look over here, there is one. Place the fragments into available slot and try to match up the absorption lines. So we'll do that and it lights up letting you know that you did it right. We have another one here. It's not always this easy. It'll get more complex as the game goes, but obviously this is just the introductory one, so nothing really hard. All right, pattern has been found. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. So, uh, if we were to go in and do more right. of these... I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Uh, more of these spectrograph things. You'll start to see... Uh, spectrograph projects. Earn XP and other rewards for completing projects. More spectrograph projects will unlock as you progress through the game. Blah, blah, blah. As you see, as you get further down, you get what are called, like, research tokens, I believe they're called. And then, uh, if you get all of them done, you get four of them. Use these tokens and many others to unlock some of the skills and different, um, suits in the game. So, you, it's kind of worth your time to be doing these, as annoying as it can be. Uh, so I'm gonna get a few done. Obviously, the XP is always nice as well, but I just kind of want to show you what else hmm. there is out there What's for this. Doc working on with this. All right, so we have to uh, match these up. Let's see if we can find the right one. This one looks pretty easy and obvious. We have another one right here, and again, easy and obvious. And then the third one we can match up, easy and obvious. All right, that's one of them down. Beautiful. Now, I'll show you guys this obviously now, but really the main reason for me doing this is because most likely between episodes, this is the type of stuff that I'll be Looks doing. Like another potential um, prosthetic contact material. Some unknown substances require multiple fragments to be stacked in a column. If two absorption lines overlap, they combine into a thicker absorption line. Okay, so pretty straightforward, I would say. This one does get a little trickier because you have to uh, make sure that... Uh, Things are lining up correctly here, uh, so you can kind of see, I kind of put myself in a little bit of a corner here, so we, uh, we know that this one isn't the right one for that, so we'll put it back here. Uh, we could try and, and double up like this, but it's like, okay, is that really correct? It's not. 
So we need to find the correct sequence here. Um, looks like it may be something to do with this one and this one, just like so. We'll put this one over here and then we need two lines close to each other. Okay, and then the last one looks like that may work. And then we need a single for over here. And I'm actually a little disappointed there isn't a third option. A little bit later, you'll have to match some of those oh, hydrogen -like with PN. like doubling up the lines. Promising. And then you'll also have to subtract be a great lines. Interface. So unfortunately, I think that's what would come down for the next one, but we don't have that just yet. Okay, and then I think you can also do more of, wait, I think it's more of these, testing the limb, but that comes maybe a little bit later. Okay, so I guess we just have to leave from here on out and go see where the story takes us. All right, my other job quest is complete. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Alright, so we gotta go to the precinct. I, once again, love the banter in this game, huh. and Spider-Man like vs. Yuri, a new episode out. one of my Wonder favorites. What my number one fan thinks about the fist takedown. This is Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time! Two time, Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, blood the book! And... And as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat, or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalization, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the call. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson's fist, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? A prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. It got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Dang, what an angry Someday. dude. But I love those little podcasts that give a little extra context into how the city views Spider-Man as a whole. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what Spider-Man can do. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. All right, so this one's fun. 
I guess. <laughs> you have to use your two different sticks in order to uh, match up the wavelengths here. Pretty easy minigame, but, you know, I actually prefer it versus something that's hard and difficult. That we just is, had a tower come back online. I, I guess Was in the best, in Not worst way to mask, say it, just huh? like, unfun. You did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great, I've got units nearby. Don't bother, I'm on it. Do it! What's the heck? Think that Wilson Fisk is gone and that gives him free reign over the city? Tisk, tisk. Not while Spider-Man is here. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. Webstrike. Yeah, Going in. Enemies with melee weapons block most attacks, but are vulnerable to air launch attacks, webs, and throwables. Okay. So let's launch him up then. Air juggle him. Get a few throwables. And we can actually tie him up, which is really nice. So his weapon is gone. No longer a threat to us. There is the other dude still over there. As we kick him away, we'll throw one of these. We'll get that guy down. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to uh, slide under them as well. Very similar to the shield guys if you want, or you can uh, launch them up in the air like we were doing. Boop! <laughs> it's so good. Uh, and then you can web that guys down on the ground if they're still struggling to get up. Nice. Okay. Okay, wrapped up. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any Spider Cop. Please no. <laughs> spider Cop is on the job. I honestly think there was a missed opportunity to have a Spider Cop so skin. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off. Leave me alone! Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me! Get away from In her! In the year of our Lord 2020, Get these men off. think that they can do this to this poor innocent lady? Anyways, roots will block your melee attacks. Use webs and throwables to make them vulnerable. Very similar to Fisk, uh, we have to use some of our skills in order to uh, avoid and hit. They also hit, like, freaking trucks. Oh, that guy didn't even see him come through. Uh, so we have to be careful about that as well. Just like everything else in the game. So, oh, come on. That's right. They don't stop their attacks just because uh, you're going for throwables and whatnot. So you have to be careful with that. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Got him. Focus is there. Uh, I'm going to try one of these. <laughs> they keep on trying. They keep on testing Spider-Man, but they'll never learn. It. Going in for the web strikes to finish these two dudes off. Oh, the brute went down too. Walk nice. away now, or she's dead. Let me go. Uh, save the hostage before time runs out. Use the left stick to aim and press R1 to disarm them. Okay. That's yeah, a little janky. The webs weren't quite on his face there, but I'll forgive the game. All right. So where do you guys like buy those jumpsuits? All clear, ma'am. Is there like a thug store I knew around Jameson here? I was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's... Spider Man. Nah, it's Spider Guy. Spider Guy. Should be able spider to spot guy the next tower from Does up there. whatever a regular guy can. <laughs> Alright, so let's get up and see if we can spot those towers. I'm gonna do one of those specialty runs. There's so many unique animations in this game, I just never get tired of seeing them. Elevated position. Spider Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No! Of nah, course not! That'd be crazy. Who would do that? I did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. <laughs> you love it. You love it. Who wouldn't love it? Then again, I, I, if I was an actual cop and trying to like do my job, I probably wouldn't love it. Alright, so we have another surveillance I can tower modify here. I these towers to track more than just crimes. 
Really small wavelength there. All right, so now this one we get backpacks. Score. Uh, I think Towers these are just are picking up all kinds of collectibles. Now. I don't really think they're, they're of any import. What is that? But the mission wants us to go see what that is, so let's go towards it. Oh wow! One of my old backpacks from high school. Forgot I attached tracking dots to these. Wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. Oh, uh, find backpacks that earn backpack tokens, which can be used to spend uh, to craft better gear. Oh, okay. So those are actually worth it. I, I honestly thought they were just like collectible things here that you could get, which is which is fine. But like, that's actually really cool. The menu from my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier, but she didn't seem to mind. Once again, just giving a little bit more context and, and fleshing out the world of Spider-Man here. You'll love to see it. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider, all cop. Uh. <laughs> Open the safe. Do it. Hey, fellas. Ah! Spider-Man! Shoot him! All right, so a lot of these missions that we're doing right now are just introductory to the things that you'll be doing for the next, like, 20 to 30 hours, depending on how much you want to do in this game. Uh, so they're just kind of like, all right, be prepared. These are the missions that you'll see over and over again. So we'll introduce them to you right now. Oh, we got me. I thought I could get the dodge out. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Get, get webbed. Get webbed to the floor. Uh, hello? More dudes. Okay. Don't worry. I'll get them. And these guys got guns, too. Get this guy real quick because he has the gun. Again, I don't think anyone can actually pick up the gun once I've taken one out with it, but you know, take him out just in case that is actually something that this game does. Whoop! He down. Uh, that everyone? That's everyone. Alright. Time to go on to our next destination. Alright, Yuri. I'm gonna repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean Spider Cop's gonna repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. Policing's a young man's game, and Spider Cops, well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider Cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider Cop's tireless. Yuri? Yuri, you there? Uh, guess the emotion of the moment overwhelmed her. All right, so this will be our last tower. Let's get the right side. Oh, that was easy. Barely had to do anything. Towers reveal collectibles, challenges, and side missions on the map. Okay. So more backpacks around here. Level up to number two. Melee damage increase, 10%. Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. I wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. I'm sure they are, Peter, and that sounds grand and fun. But unfortunately, for today's episode, we have to call it here. Doctor, how did it go with the committee? I'm so sorry I screwed things up. Not at all, Peter. They're just nervous in the face of imminent triumph. They'll calm down. They always do. Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. So, yep, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining optimism. me on today's episode. Like the I the really day. hope you've enjoyed it. Work on my suit in private. And are looking forward to the next episode coming at you tomorrow. I will see you all here. Peace out. And much love to you.